Are you thinking of moving to South Florida, but you're wondering what's happening with the market? Well, today we're going to give you an update and the truth about what's happening here in South Florida. So if you're thinking of buying or selling a home, this information is absolutely worth knowing. Hey guys, it's Robert. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the real estate market updated for 2023. It is April 13th, I think, and um, I'm sure you've watched it on your favorite news channel. Maybe you've seen some YouTube videos as a bunch of creators out there talking about it and on the radio commercials, whatever, about the crazy real estate market and the crash that's happening right now. You've also heard about inflation and prices. So there's definitely some data out there that's supporting what they're saying that the market is crashing and we're gonna go look at that today. So for this, I like to use Redfin because Redfin seems to be the most updated uh, source out there. All the other public sources, they're like a month behind. So let's go to Redfin and let's look at this information that's really gonna show you about the crashing market. So here we are on Redfin. We're gonna go national to start. Now let's look at this chart right here and um i'm not sure if this is upside down no this is this is right so huh this is very very peculiar this is damn peculiar yellow alert wow that's interesting so as you can see guys uh the orange arrow is 2021 the i guess this would be a dark arrow purple 2022 and the blue light blue would be 2023 and as you can see prices are going up not down so we started going down here this is when around june of 2022 when the interest rates went up consecutively and that's when we really started seeing a pullback in the market and things went down from there but you can see we picked up right here and it also goes down for time of year uh, Christmas, the end of the year, but right here, steady incline throughout the beginning of the year. So January through April, and prices have gone up. Now, if we look at new listings, we can see there's new listings coming on the market. Pending sales are also on the rise. The number of homes sold are also on the rise. So let's go look at some local information. Let's use Redfin and go down and look at the Fort Lauderdale metro area because I'm sure we're going to be seeing some crashing numbers right here. So Fort Lauderdale metro median sales price. So according to Redfin, prices have climbed in the beginning of the year up year over year 12% here in the Fort Lauderdale metro area. And again, if we look at pending sales, you'll see it's kind of level there, homes sold is still going up so again guys the housing market is really localized now there are areas throughout the country where prices are actually going down now this article is very interesting you can see here the u.s housing market is experiencing both a crash and a boom at the same exact time and it all depends on where you live according to the data from black knight home prices on the west coast are plunging at the same time they are rising on the east coast a split between rising fortunes from January 2022 to January 2023, home prices fell 7.5% in Seattle and dropped 10.3% in San Francisco. At the same time, prices in Miami surged 12% and up about 9.3% in Orlando. Such a split in the housing market is unprecedented. In the US housing crash or crisis of 2007 and 2008, home prices dropped in 134 out of the 153 metropolitan areas and the select few pockets of strength. So home prices stay essentially flat not rise like they are today on the east coast now so what is it about the state of florida that uh, is causing prices to still go up now florida has always been a place where people go and uh, retire especially for the warmer climate but the demand for florida has just increased exponentially since the pandemic now one of the byproducts of the pandemic has been working from home so there has been an increase in people looking for larger homes 
uh, ones that are going to work out of. Now, what about the different regions of Florida? So the southern part of Florida, South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, uh, is an area where the prices are the highest, but even other areas that were considered much more affordable like um, Orlando and Tampa have seen really, really uh, massive increases in pricing in the last couple of years. Now prices are up, but one of the positives is that inventory is up and is rising. Now this report from January, uh, sales fell 32.5% as inflation and higher interest rates um, eroded the market, but for sale inventory rose 130 percent to a 2.8 month supply now this is definitely a good sign and good for the market but it's not enough because supply and demand and the inventory is the whole key to the market now you can see here for housing inventory or active listing count in florida we're going to go back as far as i could say 2017 we had 136,000 homes for sale throughout the state of florida and you can see this number peaked went up to 155,000 and in January 2020 was 129,000 and it started coming down. You can see here pandemic and this is where the inflation started. 35,000 homes throughout Florida and it's only gotten up to at this point about 83,000 homes so almost or a little less than half of our peak and that is the big problem. We just do not have enough homes for sale to satisfy the demand from people that are looking to buy. So really the market is unprecedented and it's very, very difficult sometimes as a real estate agent to try to uh, advise clients and give them an idea because sometimes they're asking what is going on with the market and what do I need to do or I don't understand what's happening and it's really, really not that difficult uh, to understand. Now as a buyer, um, when you're offering on a home and trying to figure out what to offer, you have to remember the only buyers that are winning bids and getting houses are the ones that are offering the most. It's really that simple. When you have way more buyers, 10, 20 buyers all looking at the same home, especially if it's a real nice home and it's priced correctly, um, they're gonna go for the highest offer all the time. Now there still are some sellers out there that you know think they hit the lotto and they still think they command any price that they want. That's not happening anymore. And those are the ones that are reducing prices, but they're reducing the price to the market. It doesn't mean they can command any price, but it doesn't mean that they're gonna to have to drop it because prices are dropping. No, they just have to come back to reality and price it according to what the market bears. It's almost like here in South Florida, we're bulletproof to what's going on throughout some parts of the country with the market. Now, despite inflation, despite the interest rates, uh, despite the rising prices, we're just trucking along here in South Florida and there are buyers out there willing to pay the prices here and it's still driving them up. Now, until the inventory levels that I showed before start evening out to where there's a, uh, a bigger supply and enough homes out there for the buyers that are looking and it kind of evens out the supply and demand scale, I don't see anything changing anytime soon down here in South Florida, although, you would think that with all the stuff going on that eventually you know um things would change but um i don't see anything on the horizon at this point okay guys we're going to wrap it up right there the south florida real estate market is still trucking still moving along nothing really changing except for prices not going up as fast as they have been inventory is going up but still at record lows and that is the theme and that is the real key so i hope you got something from the video and i appreciate you watching i'll catch you on the next one take care